Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Um, before we get started, I'm gonna put a disclaimer. I have no idea how many products are going to be in this video. It kind of started out as an informal 30 and 30. I was just trying to, I wasn't keeping track of them like I do when I do my 30 and 30, but I was just trying to try as many as I could to declutter some because I had so many. Um, so yeah, this has been over 30 days. It's way over 30 days, almost probably 60 days. So um, these are all highlighters that are staying in my collection, basically. Um, I was going to do it with the blushes, but decided that was too much. And we'll see. This might need to be broken into two as well. We're going to get started with the um, stick highlighters. This one is by Cargo. It is in the shade Champagne. Um, it's a really pretty color, really blinding. Um, I was really impressed when I put that on. It looks really funny right now on the monitor, but, um, yeah, really liked that one. Thought it was great. Then I have a little What's Up by Benefit. This is, um, also a good highlighter. I know I've used at least one of these in the past. Um, that's what it looks like, but it's just not like, I don't know. There's something unusual about that champagne by Cargo. Then we had Trustique. This is, it doesn't say, it just says a mini highlight stick. It doesn't tell me what shade it is in, unfortunately. This is going to be more of a pearl shade though. So it's um, lighter than the other two. And then my last stick highlighter is a chubby stick from Clinique. And it is the lightest of them all. So that is what they all look like. They are all pretty blinding, but they blend out fairly well. I'm going to kind of blend them all together. Um, so that's what they look like. They're still in their same rows, but they kind of, the gradation is gone. Um, yeah, so enjoyed all of those. Those are the ones that are staying. I tried some other stick ones that are leaving my collection, and those were in my recent declutter video. So. If you're interested in seeing which ones didn't make the cut, make sure you're checking out that video. I'm going to save the liquid highlighters for the end now because I just feel like it. Um, we're going to start with our first one that's in a container. This is kind of a hybrid between powder and um, stick. This is the Super Shock Shadow or Sh Super Shock Cheek by ColourPop. This is in the shade glazed and oh my gosh this is so good oh my gosh I love this stuff this is very similar to the Lancome they have a similar highlighting formula that's I just absolutely love as well so that's what that looks like um I don't stick to a certain shade for my highlighter I don't care if it looks funky if it's a weird color I just look what's pretty and what's shiny um obviously when I'm at work I don't wear like the more shiny ones um but this one's a good one for work this is Revolution. It's a Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Radiant Lights. Um, it's really powdery for some reason. I'm not sure. It feels like um, something's happened to it. So as you can see, it's not quite as blinding as the glazed, but it still has a presence there. Um, it's just, it's really pretty. I really um, enjoy that one. And I have highlight powder all over my pants now from that one. Next, we're going to talk about this little guy. It's teeny tiny. This is Nomad. This is um, their highlighter in the shade Stockholm. Um, this is an interesting one. And this one fell today and it amazingly did not break. So I'm super impressed with that. It's a more of a gold shade, um, but it also is like super pretty. I really do like that shade as well. So that's one that I feel like I could wear to work. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters, this next one. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And I have to force myself not to just use this one. Because um, one, it's limited and I don't know, like they put out other iterations of it. So I'm not sure if it's available right now, but it's as good as everybody talks. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt. It's the holiday one, which is also part of the reason why I don't want to use it all the way up because it's so love the embossing on it it's gorgeous though um really bright and shiny and beautiful yeah 
This is another one of my favorite highlighters. Like, there's going to be a lot of favorite highlighters. I will give you fair warning um, right now because I have a lot of highlighters and it's one of my favorite things to get. This is another one that's really, really good. This is um, the Emerisi Highlighter by ABH. I was not going to get it and then I saw everybody and their dog talking about it on, on YouTube and I was like, dang it, I'm going to get it. And it is as good as everybody said. And for some reason, like, it's just a really beautiful color. Um, it's a little lighter than Whisper of Guilt. Um, not, it's more blinding than the Stockholm by Nomad, but it is just so pretty. Um, yeah, really, really enjoy that one as well. Another one that, um, well, this one I got because I wanted the packaging. And this also came in a box of charms, so I was super excited. This is the um, Pretty Vulgar. This is the Swimmering Swan Highlighter in Glow Up. There you go. So many words. So many words to try to remember. Um, this is a really pretty highlighter as well. It's a little bit more pinky than the other ones. It's going to have more of a um, rose gold shade to it. Um, but yeah, all of these are really good options if you want something glowy in your face. Um, the Vivid, not as much the, by Makeup Revolution, but it's still, like, it's a good everyday highlighter. All right, next up is from Laura Geller. This is Charming Pink. And these are the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminators. I picked this up when they had the sale on this summer, and oh, it's beautiful. I really like Laura Geller's highlighters um, and her blushes. Like, I think it's a way under um, recognized brand. And then the Diamond Dust. This is another really good one. I've heard that there's legal issues, like the company that owns them are going bankrupt. So I really hope that Laura Geller does not disappear completely because I really, like, I want some more highlighters. So the Diamond Dust, you can see it kind of it has that holographic look to it um more dimension than the pink one so definitely not like a work highlighter but oh, gorgeous really gorgeous so her ofra i love ofra highlighters um this one is the nikki tutorials one and it's kind of i swirl all of them together because yeah otherwise i wouldn't use most of it so it is a little darker but i think it's still like if you have a blush with it, it's not going to look t terribly out of place. Um, you just have to pair the right blush with it is what I feel like. And then the other one I have here is Star Island and this came in my Ipsy. This was an add-on that I did. So I got this guy for $3, which is amazing for um, Ofra. I really like that one too. It's a very light one, but all four of those, oh, so gorgeous. All right. Some more slightly more natural looking highlights. This is the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Quartz. This is one of the most beautiful highlighters ever made. If you want something that is um, going to be very subtle but beautiful, make you just look like lit from within, this is a great one for that. I love that one. This is also a more natural looking highlighter. This is what is it? It is the Nude Wear Touch of Glow palette from Physicians Formula. I thought this one I was going to declutter, but I ended up keeping it because um, it did look nice on my skin. It does have a slight bit of glow to it, but yeah, I was surprised like because that was one I was prepared to eliminate. Then we have from Catrice, this is the highlighting powder in Champagne Campaign. And it, this is another really light, subtle one. So if you want something that is going to um, be more natural looking, that's what this one definitely is. It hardly has any glow compared to the other two. It has a little bit, but it's not as spectacular as the previous two. And then even then, they are less sparkly than others. Then I have this one. This is the Rose Glow Highlighting Palette by Revlon. Like everything else, I just kind of go across it. That's what it looks like. Um, and this one is, once again, really light, really um, subtle. It's not going to be a ton of glow. Um, 
So yeah, actually I'm thinking, why am I keeping that one? That one, that one seems a little boring. So that one might make it um, in my next declutter video. We'll, we'll see because yeah, that was a little disappointing. All right, so I have one loose powder in this whole thing. This is the Wet n Wild powder in You Glow Girl. Um, it's really messy. That's the one problem with loose powders, that's for sure. See if I can get some without making a giant mess. Um, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I And highlight is so hard to like see on camera, I feel, but oh, definitely love that one <laughs> quite a bit. Then we have Sprinkling. This is another one of those Ulta ones. This is just a baked illuminator. It does not have a specific shade. I do have, I did have two of these and one I decided to put in my declutter. Um, this is the one that made it through. It's more of a subtle, I don't think you can even like tell I put it on. Um, so yeah, if you want something really natural, that's, that was what that one was. Um, it's not like overly glowy by any means. This one is a strobe highlighter by Revolution. This one is in the shade um, Lunar and it is not subtle. It is not um, everyday wear for sure. It is not like work appropriate because it's like purpley and really super bright and shiny. Um, you can tell like there's just nothing in between those two. So that one I really do like as well. This next one, I was really prepared to not like. I was prepared to eliminate it. I was totally happy with that. Um, but it kind of, it, it's staying for right now. It's the J Cat You Glow Girl in Pink Goddess. It's a baked highlighter. Um, but it is super, it has so much like glitter in it, which is one of the reasons why I was ready to get rid of it doesn't look as good when I swatch it um, but it pleasantly surprised me but it is like so much darker than my skin which I think was part of the problem um, with it so yeah some of these but looking at them as I swatching them I'm like I, why am I keeping these but I liked them all on my skin so I'm gonna make myself stay with that so we're getting closer to the end I have about six powder highlighters and maybe six um, liquid ones as well. This is one of my newer highlights. I picked this up in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It is the Kelly Glow Highlighter by Persona in Zuma. Um, it is a darker, more gold highlight. They had two shades and this was the lightest of them. So it is really bright, really glowy, um, but you do have to use kind of a light hand because it is, um, a little darker so if you're fair like me it's a little harder to pull off next is for oh my gosh that's really that's awful it's Josie Marion Argan Enlightenment and Luminizing Veil not good packaging to show on camera that is for sure and that is what it looks like and there it is and it is more of a matte kind of highlighting highlighter it doesn't have like a lot of super glow so it is another good one that you can use um, for a day-to-day -day look um, but if you want it it looks so sad next to that persona though oh my goodness um but yeah I like both of those and then Lancome this is the bronze and glow palette and it has just a whole bunch of colors in here and I just kind of swirl my finger around like most of the ones that have multiple things in them and that is what it looks like it is a more subtle um highlight but it is really pretty i really like this one i was not sure what i would think of this one but i do like it so yeah um was more impressed than i thought i might be all right next up is from revolution this is the skin kiss um dream kiss this is like a palette of highlighters basically. Um, it's crazy, it has pink and purple and blue and green and violet. Um, I, once again, just kind of swirl them all together right through the middle and it is a beautiful highlight. 
Um, I really like that kind of icy look on the skin at times. Like it just, it's surprising. It doesn't, um, it's not what you would normally expect, but it just kind of, it still looks pretty. Next is the Maybelline Puma Highlighter in Knockout. I was so excited. I This one, like I love the Maybelline highlighters. These master chromes are so good. And this one was hard to find. Um, but I finally got it. I had to go in store to get it because every time it was online, I didn't have enough for an order. I didn't want to like make myself $25 and I didn't want to pay shipping on it. Um, but that's what it looks like. It has a beautiful rose gold, just really pretty. Of course, it's pretty. Um, they always do a good job on these. Um, everyone I've gotten has been good. I don't have all of them. I don't think I have the purple one. I don't think I have the white one. I should look and like make them a little bit, make a video about all of them. And then I have the Nikki tutorials one. One thing I don't like about this is that this is glued on there and I probably could get it off if I worked hard enough hard enough, but I just don't, I don't want to like damage it or anything. This is, um, the shade 250. It's the Nikki tutorials in case I didn't say that already. Um, and that's what it looks like. It is once again, gorgeous. She does really good highlight work. Like all of her highlights that she has um, collabed on have been so pretty. So yeah, really like those master chromes. They're a great value. I think they're $9.99 usually. And you can usually get them, buy one, get half off or a percentage off. You can use your also coupons on them, the regular ones, which is always a good thing. So yeah, really love those. I think they're fantastic. These are going to be the messiest ones. I have some liquid highlighters next because I've been trying. These are ones that I don't reach for. And I was like, I need to try them. And I need to decide. So I have two Becca. This one is in Moonstone. The other one I have is a small one in Opal. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put both of them on my hand. Just a teeny tiny drop um, because otherwise it, there's gonna be highlight for my entire body, which is not needed for sure. So that's what they look like. So you can see them next to each other. The Moonstone is much lighter than the Opal. And these are not as glowy, I find, as the um, powders. So that's what they look like. I don't not, I don't dislike them, but I don't love them. That's for sure. Um, so they might, in my next kind of like go round, I might declutter all of my liquids. I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide. Um, I also have a Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer, and let's do a little tiny drop of that one. So I have that one, and then I have this Temp 2 from BoxyCharm. It's another liquid um, illuminator. We'll put just a little on. I know you can mix these in and put them on your body or on your face, but I have oily skin as it is, so I don't really like to mix in shimmer because I already have a lot of shimmer going on. So there is the Argan Illuminizer. It's definitely more glowy than the um, Becca ones. And then the Temp 2, and a little goes a long way with the Temp 2. That's what it looks down there. It actually is really pretty. And if I did like the type of summery stuff where one does cover their body in glitter and like go to a party, but that's just, I'm not really a partier. Um, in the summer, I'm usually working and then preparing for the next semester. So yeah, I feel like it's just not really me and I'm so pale anyway, and I don't like being out in the sun and I have so many allergies, so I don't like going outside. I'm a mess, what can I say? All right, next one um, is from number seven. This is a skin illuminator. And then I have my very last one, which is, woo. This one, there's a lot because it kind of popped poofed up. And then my last one is Girl Meets Pearl. It's liquid pearl for the face. Um, and this one has some stuck up at the top as well. So there's going to be a little bit more of these than I would normally put out there, but that's what they look like. Put the pearl this way. 
it is really like nice and subtle um, so the number seven went this way the pearl went that way it's very subtle um, so something if you wanted to wear it to work I think that one is a good one for work that is it I don't know how many highlighters that was um, I might try to count them and put them down below right here so you can um, see how many I've been trying and keeping because you've already seen the ones that I'm passing along Anyway, let me know what your favorite highlighters are. Do you have any of these? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are there some that you have passed on? Are there some that you think I should pass on? Let me know down below. I love reading your thoughts and comments. I hope you are all having a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.